Today, Tommy and I will do the grand shopping session version number two at Green Aqua. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. Oh, why am I here? I've got the white hard drive recording everything, the clean white thing, and he has the dark black hard drive, right? <laughs> Yin and Yang in the middle of the green aqua table. In this video, we're gonna be shopping for a 60p tank on a different level. And in the next video, we're going to build the scapes, the exact aquariums that we shopped for today. But first of all, why 60p? Well, 60p is, I would say, the best tank for any newcomer, any rookie in the hobby. Um, but it's still a very good tank size for any advanced aquascapers. So he's gonna be the advanced one. They can only see in that camera. So he's gonna be the advanced one and I'm gonna be the rookie. And actually the 60p is big enough to be biologically stable already. So it's much better uh, to have a 60p first tank than to have a nano tank. Because nano can be a lot less stable and then uh, you might have to do more frequent water changes, etc., etc., get more algae. So it's, it, it could be a problem. But it's not so big that it would take up your whole weekend maintaining. You have to basically put 30, 40 minutes aside every week. Right, and we have quite a few 60p setup videos in here, uh, made by us, made by our guests from all over the world. So you guys can check out those videos. We even have a playlist, which I'm gonna link in the description so you will see without scratching. Which I'm gonna do in the description so you will see that. Uh, what, what are you, what are I'm you? scratching in my own mic, not yours. But it's <laughs> not, that, that, do you realize that we, we're in the full shot? So whatever I do, you like, you do, do monkey style on the other end. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna you have your own camera. <laughs> so what we're doing in this video is we're budgeting. But in the next video, we're gonna show you what we actually built based on what we shopped here. Yes, and we add some tension to that. The first rule is that whatever we choose today, that's, those are the only things that we can use in the actual build. So if we forget something, we're gonna have to solve it somehow. Uh, the second thing is, we're gonna have a time limit. What should be our time limit? 60 minutes. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah. Well, I'm just looking for his password at Green Aqua site because he can't remember it. I'm in. <laughs> to avoid any products that are not on stock at the moment, we couldn't put those products into our cart on the website. So what you're gonna see is we're gonna add them to our wish list. Okay, so my wish list name is 60p better than Tommy's. But first of all, we're gonna need an aquarium, I think. So you're gonna probably choose the normal version. Yes, I'm going with the float glass. It's the regular greenish glass. Um, for your first tank, it's perfectly fine. I always say you need OptiWhite if you want to build contest aquariums. Next up is choosing the right cabinet. We're gonna go for the 60 by 30 by, let's say, E version, premium anthracite gray aquarium cabinet. Do you choose a cabinet at all? That is if you need a cabinet. So you don't, don't. need one? No, I don't Where need a cabinet. That? For 60p, basically what you're aiming for is any surface that can bear up to 100 kilograms. If you have a surface like this, that's perfectly fine for 60p. Um, you just have to just turn it off. You just <laughs> <laughs> you have to think about where you're gonna put all your technical stuff, your filtration, your CO2 system. If you need it, I don't. Anything like that. Obviously, that needs some space, but you can put it aside your table or whatever. So yeah, I'm going without a cabinet. As I'm going to go for the Chihiro's lights. Yeah, the same for me up to that point. Really? Yeah, I think we, we choose a different one, but Chihiro's for me as well. I'm going for the A2601 light, which is the entry level Chihiro's light. It's 
perfectly fine for a tank without CO2. So I'm going to go for the WRGB to 60 centimeter light because that is an RGB light that will bring out all the nice red colors that I'm having in my tank and that Tommy does not have. Yeah, I won't have that. Well, filtration is the part where you don't really have a cheap option if you want something steady and you want a stable setup. So probably he's gonna go with a 600, either an, or as a Biomaster or... I could have a 600 or I could have the uh, Biomaster 350. As for filtration, I'm going with an Eheim Echo Pro 300. And the reason behind it is I actually had my first 60p with this filter and it's perfectly fine for that size until you go really crazy with CO2 and, uh, and fertilizers. I'm gonna put in some extra filter media to have it more stable, which is gonna be one liter of Seachem Matrix and 100 milliliters of Seachem Purigen. I'm just gonna take a 4 liter Matrix because I have unlimited funds, remember? This is something I definitely need and I think he's gonna forget about it. Did you put any mat? Of course I did, and I didn't tell you. Ah. I had the mat very quietly. He was, I knew he forgot about the mat, and I didn't tell him. I'm done with the technical stuff. Are you done? Of course I'm not. I'm choosing the transparent filter hoses, which you probably don't have, because you're just using the uh, regular hoses. I'm choosing the lily pipes, the glass lily pipes in and outflows, which is really important. All the stuff he's talking about, those are really nice. You don't need them when you're starting out your first tank. Those are the things that you have to put on your Christmas list. I sure, got your my yeah. yeah, your wife can buy. Yeah, my birthday and Christmas is quite close. So I got uh, from my wife when I started aquascaping, I got the inlet for my birthday and then the outlet for Christmas. So I did the inflow now. Wish list. I'm gonna wait for you. Do you guys have a magazine or something? <laughs> Thank you very much. That. So you're getting inspiration. Yeah. That is the 2020 contest book. We need two of these reducers. As I add another accessory to the filtration that's going to be a shut-off tap. It's going to be the 12 by 60 meter shut-off. Shut up, shut up, tap. <laughs> and that's gonna help to restrict the flow for the first one or two weeks. I'm gonna add in fine filter mesh just for safety's sake. Let's use bacteria. But it's not part of the technical stuff. I'm waiting for you to finish up with the technical stuff over this, this is well, filtration. No, then this we're gonna is, have this no, is technical. We have technical stuff, then we have hardscape, then we have plants, and then we have accessories like Who's making the rules here, Tommy? Two, yeah. Who's making mm. the rules here? Okay, then I'm going... Okay, I continue and then I leave you for it when I'm finished. Thank you! Here in the advanced section, we are at the hardscape part, and I'm adding Fuji stones to my wish list. One kilogram of stone is not the same amount with all the stones. Uh, Fuji stone is really light compared to Seiryu, for example. So, I can get away with less money spent on stones. We're gonna crown them with uh, iron wood. I need about nine pieces. That's reasonable. I'm gonna use dragon stones. Which is also light. Not because it's light, but uh, I don't want to use any stones that will harden the water. And I'm gonna use a lot of it. So I'm gonna put in probably 40 kilos of stones. Let's select some sand and some soil and some soil additives if you want. But I'm gonna select the IMPA glue first because I need to glue these rocks together. Oh, that's me on the website. Check that out. <laughs> I'm looking at myself. That's weird. That's why we don't sell any. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going with the Donella quartz gravel, the black one, and I'm gonna put in some nutrition capsules. I'm going to use the Colorado sand, which is much, much nicer. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to use the uh, ADA substrate system, which is really cool. And then I will need uh, the Aquasoil Amazonia. 
Um, for 60p, we usually say that if you buy one bag of 9 liter soil, uh, it's going to be fine for the mandatory 4 centimeters coverage above the substrate and some lift at the back. If you want to create some more extreme hardscape, some Iwagumi with huge hills in the backside, obviously you're going to need more. Always check what you're buying because the gravel is in kilograms, the soil is in liters. What kind of uh, filter you have? I got an Echo Pro 300, an e -Hine. And where are you going to put that? Beside the table. Oh, like perfectly fine. ugly, ugly. Yeah, it's uh, nice. yeah, I'm building a nice aquarium, not a nice environment. Okay. That comes with the cheap stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going for this. What skimmer? No. Did you have the skimmer? Yes. I forgot that. I knew. I'm going to even add the ADA sand flattener to the wish list. I know that's not something Tommy would do. He's going to just do it with his hands. He likes it dirty. Not commenting on that. <laughs> okay, another thing. Uh, I'm choosing the plants. For example, now I'm putting in the... What? You already had the plants? Tropica Anubias Putti. Obviously, if we won't have this on stock when we're going to build the tanks, I'm going to switch to another manufacturer's same plant. And we actually do this with your packages as well. Am I ready for planting at, at all? I need to fill it up with water, water change hoses, stuff like that. Do we need, or that goes to the maintenance? I think or? it's reasonable that you have something to fill the tank with. It's like a bucket or something. You just need. You're gonna have some leftover hose from your filter, as we know. Oh yeah, and you're I can gonna use that have a bucket the... at home, probably. Okay, so we're skipping that, and we're also skipping the reverse osmosis filter here. Do these Chihiro lights come with a built-in timer? I think they can. It has the all adjustable Bluetooth stuff that you have. But I need a timer for the CO2. Yes. So what kind of plants are I going to use? I'm going to use some stem plants. I'm going to use the Rotala green in the background. I'm going to have Rotala HRR, which is really nice red plant, which Tommy cannot use. Or he could, but it will not be red for him. No, but I'm going to have some Ludwiga palustris in there, which, also which is one of the easiest plants to get red, especially on the very top part. And let's use the Rotala rotundifolia too. Now I'm really worried that easier. I'm gonna miss something. I know. Now, now, now you feel me, right, yeah. bro? I know. It's... Did you also add in the uh, all the maintenance tools and everything? Just what's needed for planting. My favorite is the Pro Pinsets M, which is the mid-size. That is really cool. And let's not forget the scissors while we're at that. If you're perfectly fine with the cheap tweezer you bought, then you're gonna perfectly fine with a cheap scissor as well. And that's why I didn't choose a scissor right now, because I don't know how much quality I need in my life. I also didn't forget to add the glue. Yeah, I have the glue as well. I know you were very quiet there while you were adding the glue. I know exactly what you did there. No, I, I have... can feel I can feel the vibes coming from Tommy. Glue. Glue is gonna forget the glue. <laughs> and I have the starting bacteria. I'm going with Seacam stability. Beside quality, which I mentioned earlier, you don't know the size you want to use from a pin set or tweezer. But I says he likes the M. I love the S size from the tweezer. It, I don't he know, likes it small. But it's more comfortable. <laughs> this is getting worse, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so yeah, before choosing the tweezer, you should find out what size you like. I'm going to get the Anubias Petit. I need this one. Very secretive. Yeah. How you guys are going to learn anything from Tommy <laughs> just putting stuff in? No, the... they see my screen, which okay. you don't. Because your wish list is not is is is, is long enough to to you you put. <laughs> <in> the... <laughs> 
because your wish list is not is 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 is, is long enough to 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 See, I know Green Aqua website better than you do. That's for sure. Yeah, but I don't use the site too much. I use the Why site all I? the time. Yeah. You're looking through the algae guide, don't you? Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. GH plus. Tommy does not need that. <laughs> Just give him a hint. <laughs> he forgot. The... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that because we are using... Plus, yeah. I can't keep my mouth shut. <laughs> because we are using the reverse osmosis filter. I didn't count for that. Glue. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. I'm gonna add the digital no, tester no, now. Time up. <laughs> exactly. You know all those guys. Digital tester. You know the TDS. How do you? Oh, the TDS. Uh huh. You uh, forgot that, right? Uh, nah. Uh, I'm going for the feeling. Now, now let's switch places and see what what the other did and okay. what they're missing. Huh? Okay. Cool. We I'm, could just switch computers, though. I'm curious about your CO2 system. Are you now? Yeah. I just dropped in a, a normal CO2 system from now on. Oh, I'm... we have the pre-made systems online. Uh-huh. <laughs> 40 kilograms. <laughs> well, this is what I said. You need yeah. a lot of stones and what you can you just keep them or trade them. Yeah. Add all to cart. And then, are you interested in his subtotal? Guess what? 716 euros rounded. It's not cheap, but uh, that's the price if you want to get into aquascaping properly. Not, not full on, but properly. Please check one thing I'm curious about. If we would add laminated 60 by 30 by 70 centimeter cabinet, you missed would that we, cabinet. Would, would we stay you? under a thousand euros? That's my. Okay. What? 8.99. Nine. Perfect. Under 900 Good euros, job. you can even fit a cabinet. And for Balash, on the other hand, yeah. 1,775 euros. Yay! <laughs> That's a lot. That's it, we're gonna be fine. Are you sure? Yeah, well, no, no but... <laughs> no, I don't think so. And with that said, uh, you guys are gonna find out in the next part of this video, which we're not gonna make it next week, we're gonna do it sometimes... In a few weeks. In a few weeks you're going to see whether we selected everything there or not. And please put in the comments if you think we forgot something. All right, yeah. And then we're going to know what, what yeah. awaits us, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Well, we can at least think of re household items that we can use instead. And we can only bring something that we have at home. Yes. Perfect. Stay tuned. Don't forget to aquascape. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.